name is Eric Atwood from the Speaker Studio. This is my first time at this event. I'm really excited about it. Um, Randall actually suggested that uh, he actually volunteered me to, to do this presentation. So he only gave me a little bit of time to prepare. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about. Sometimes when I speak in front of a group, I actually prepare way ahead of time, practice several times. And there's other times where I just trust that the message is going to come through. So I was really cramming my brain the other day, on Saturday evening, thinking, what am I going to talk to this group about? And I'm like, it just didn't feel right. So I just said to myself, just trust that the message is going to come through at the right time. And that right time happened to be middle of the night last night. I woke up middle of the night, and uh, I actually was dreaming. I was dreaming that I had missed a class. I don't know if it was high school or college, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then later that day, I ran into the teacher and he reprimanded me. He says, where were you? You're supposed to be at class. So, you know, I woke up, you know, in sort of like, oh. And I was thinking, why did I have that dream? And sometimes when I have a dream like that, I will actually do some journaling to figure out what was the message there. So what came to me is that this happened to me quite a bit in, in school. I just didn't want to show up. I felt like I had to show up to class. I was obligated to be there. But I really didn't want to be there. I really wasn't enjoying the class. I wasn't getting much out of it. And then I thought, hmm, has this happened to me for most of my life? Whether it was school or a job or business that I had. I'm like, yeah, you know, most of my career, I guess most of my adult life, it's been that way. It's like I was showing up to jobs or doing stuff in my life that I really wasn't enjoying that much. I wasn't passionate about it. I didn't want to be there. I realized is that I really want to do what I'm doing. I love the business I'm doing. I love getting up every day feeling excited about talking with clients and talking with prospects and talking with potential partners and talking about what I do, doing a lot of networking. So I was thinking, hmm, I wonder why I had that dream now, the night before I was going to come up and do this presentation. I'm like, was there something about this group that I was a bit hesitant about? Um, like, you know, I have to be here. You know, there's a rule here about you have to show up at a certain time, you know, every Monday morning um, and, you know, show up and be helpful to people. And then I realized there is one difference to how I was being in school or other jobs. I wasn't really wanting to be at those places for the most part. You know, I still did my job. I did a good job, but I really wasn't enjoying myself. And then there's this place. It's new to me, and I have to show up. I have to be here and, you know, and help people or whatever I'm here for. But I really want to be here. There's a difference here. I really want to be here because I know that I'm following my passion and I'm helping people. And I suspect that people in this group are here for the same reason. They're following their passion, and they really want to help people. So I made this connection of... You know, this is why I'm here in this group. I don't know how this came to be. I mean, I met Randall, and previous to that it was Lewis. But I just trusted that as long as I'm following my passion and wanting to help people, that opportunities will show up for me. And here I am as part of this group now, and I feel like this is where I'm meant to be. I'm following my passion, and I'm helping people. And I'm trusting that each one of you has that same desire, that same feeling following your passion and wanting to help people. And what I've also come to realize, passion and help people, we actually feel good. If you think about a lot of what we do in our jobs or in our daily life, we're sort of in our minds, we're sort of leading our lives, um, thinking we have to do things, or thinking, just being in our thinking minds, rather than our feeling bodies, how are things making us feel? And now I realize that I am living my life from my heart. I am living from a feeling place where I really want to feel good. I and mean, who doesn't want to feel good? Who doesn't want to feel happy, feel fulfilled, like they're doing what they're supposed to do, like they're helping people? So I know now, you know, doing my business and meeting new people that feel this way, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm, I feel great every day. I wake up excited. And this is not... This is an unusual thing for me. Most of my life, I was kind of like, oh, God, am I doing the right thing? And isn't there something else? 
and um, I wasn't really happy. I wasn't fulfilled in my life, in my work, in my personal life. But some changes happened. I did a lot of personal work and kind of releasing old beliefs and patterns that I had. And I started to do things that I really wanted to do and started feeling the joy behind that of, you know what? I'm here because I want to help people. I'm here because I want to feel fulfilled, like I'm making a difference. And who doesn't want to feel good? And I know that each one of you is doing the work you do because it makes you happy. You're not just doing it for, you know, to survive. You're actually doing it because you want to help people. You want to feel good and you want to help people. So it's about following your passion and being of service. And it's my firm belief that that's why we're all here. If we're here following our hearts, living from our hearts, living from a feeling place of wanting to, you know, feel fulfilled and, and joyful, and being of service to other people. And I can prove that being of service actually brings you. Have you ever opened the door for somebody and let them go through? How did it make you feel? It actually made you feel good. Or you let somebody in when you're driving your car, you know, and there's a bunch of traffic backed up. If you let somebody in, you know, you're actually doing something for somebody, it makes you feel good, doesn't it? Absolutely. So I think that's why we're here. We're here to be of service to people because when we, when we do that, it does make us feel good and we actually attract those kind of people to our life. So, you know, that's why I do what I do now. I am, really am of service to people. I want to see them fulfill their potential to be able to speak their truth, speak authentically about themselves, speak powerfully, whether it's in a one-on-one -on -one conversation or in a group setting, to release some of those old behaviors and thought patterns they had about, oh, I can't really do this, or I don't want to sound too big or too arrogant about what I do. It's like, no, you know, we're all here. We all have gifts that we're supposed to deliver to people, to, to be fully who we are. You know? So I help them actually create that in their life, find that in themselves, to be able to speak their truth and do the work that we're all here to do. You know, we all have a purpose. We all have gifts. And why not fulfill those gifts? Why not actually make the world a better place as a result of you know, tapping into those gifts and expressing yourself fully? So in my coaching, in my workshops, in my group sessions, I help people start feeling comfortable being themselves and expressing themselves and speaking from their heart. Kind of moving away from the mind and trying to sound smart or be somebody else that they're really not. And really start listening to themselves what they want in their life and what they want for other people. I firmly believe we're here for each other. It's not rocket science for me. It's a simple concept, but I really believe we're all here for each other. Somebody else brought us into this earth. Now we are here to, to be of service to other people. It's as simple as that for me. So this is the work that I do. I encourage other people to live that way. You know? And I can't change anybody. That's not my job. I'm not here to try to change people. I'm, trying to change, I'm here to give them ideas about how they can live fully themselves, as themselves, live authentically, be passionate about who you are. Just love, I mean, you know, self-love was one of the things I found several years ago, and it really sort of changed my life. That once I started appreciating who I am and the gifts I have to offer, I was able, it opened all kinds of doors for me. And now I'm able to share that work with other people. I can teach other people how to find that in yourself, how to really love yourself and be able to express from that place. Speak from your heart, try to be of service to people, and just show up. Show up fully as yourself. So that's really what I wanted to say today. It's just, again, just to reinforce what, I, what came to me in the middle of the night, is just living my passion. Live your passion and be of service to people. When you do that, it makes you feel so good and it brings opportunities for you. You connect with people who feel that same way and you can actually create new things in your life as a result of that. So that's what I want to say. I really appreciate this time and uh, being here with all of you. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to grow as a group and, and find new opportunities for each other. Thank you so much.